Uh, she is the lieutenant uh, officer of the police department, which I guess would be the LAPD. Um, and it is her job to make sure that she and her prized employee, Ryan Gosling's character, uh, who is also a detective, is to just keep order. We need to keep this delicate balance a balance between humanity and technology and not let it tip the scale on one side or the other. And you, your character, you've played some very powerful roles in the past, so what attracted you specifically to this one? I think just that, just tough, powerful leadership. And they're all for a good cause. You know, it's not just retribution or hatred, there's, there's a good cause in the mission. And if you had to describe this story without obviously giving too much away, how would you describe this story and its themes? I mean, really, it's a story about trying to seek your identity in this near future world. What does it mean to be human? anymore, um, and trying to maintain love and connection as we know it today. Now, um, we're obviously you're familiar with the original Blade Runner. Do you remember the impact it had on you, and why do you feel that it has, this film has stood up for, you know, for 30 years? It's still current. I think it's very prescient, you know, it's, it is about what's starting to happen today with bioengineered human beings. Um, what is that going to do to our world? What's it, what's it already done with technology, computers, digital age, how that's taking over? Um, emotionally, or is it going to diffuse? Will it enhance it? Can it do both? Some pretty interesting mm. questions. And um, talking about um, Denis, working with Denis, what can mm. you say about working with Denis and what he brought to this project? Such a visionary. He's so, he's a special one. He's, um, you know, French Canadian and you've got that accent and you've got the different formations of words when you have second language and he's so original with the way he conveys keeping the fierceness and the strength and this futuristic world but bringing this vulnerability to it he really knows how to bring heart to the character um great working with him i, I just a great director as far as audiences that have seen the first one, do you feel that this one can stand on its own? This film definitely stands on its own. I think that's why they waited 30 years to make sure they got the story right and make sure it was relevant in some way and had us look forward in this near future world and start to be provocative about it. 